Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Treasure. That is what you are. You're my golden star. Hey, Jules and Jules. Welcome back to Amelia Treasures. It's me, Brilliancy. And it's me, Royce. And we are back with another video. So guys, before you jump into today's video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And push your push notifications bell down below so you guys will miss out another one of our videos. And because it's free. Make it, make it, hit the foot it. What she says. So guys, now that we set off that today's video is going to be about a ginormous snowman made out of beer bottles to help raise money for sick children. Mm-hmm. I'm just feeling the holiday <laughs> spirit right now, you guys, with these different stories. I love it. Me too. Okay. Today we want to shine a spotlight on Mr. Mark Walton. Four years ago, Mr. Walton started a tradition in order to raise money for Children's Hospice Southwest Charity. Last year, he made $6,400. Wow. He placed two large buckets outside of a pub for people to leave donations. This year, he hopes he raises $7,700. Anything is possible. Anything is possible, and you just have to have the right mindset yes. and believe that you can accomplish your dreams. Especially if it's not just for yourself, if it's for someone else. You have to really believe in yourself and in what you're doing in order to accomplish it. Anything yes. you put your mind to, you can achieve <laughs> Mr. Walton owns the Queen Victoria Inn on Mendip Hills in Somerset, England. Around the holidays, he transformed the pub into the Gingerbread Inn with 60,000 fairy lights and a 22-foot snowman made of beer bottles. It took four people four days at Gingerbread Man, sweet candy canes, and thousands of lights to entire outside walls of the pub. This is the first year the snowman was added. The snowman is made out of 2,500 beer bottles. This year, the lights were turned on November 24th, 2019 for the festive period. That is not only a lot of hard work, but it's dedication and time, con time consuming, which a lot of people had help, had to help and volunteer. And that's just the great thing about it. Like, I feel like all of the holidays, even like Valentine's and Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving, all of the holidays bring people as a community and family yes. and friends together as one. And it's fun. So like all of the good deeds we are shining the spotlight on today, I really hope it touches someone to do yes. a small good deed or a big good deed, whatever you can do, even if. Even if it's just helping someone across the street, you guys, or helping someone you see, yeah. that's big. It is. Anything you do to help someone is big. Anything. Mm. The last one were made on until early January. This was a really fun, beautiful, and creative way to get into the holiday spirit and raise money for the children in hospice. That is their Mr. Walter, you are a true gem. That's your Kool-Aid for today, you guys. Until next time, smooches. I love you, sister. Me too. <laughs> Don't wipe it off. <laughs> Bye. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Treasure